What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, and college basketball fans everywhere? Welcome. This is the Picture World Network. I am Tyzilla83. And I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and taking a little bit of time out of your day to check out the video. If you would at the end, like, comment, share the content that, you, uh, that, that you're that you watching. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the sub button down below. We're going to talk about Arkansas Senior Day hosting the Georgia Bulldogs. And um, a good game for the Hogs. Good good day for the for the three seniors today. And uh, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk a little bit about the SEC or the NCAA tournament, and uh, a little bit more. Kind of reflect back on the year a little bit. Let's go. Let's get into the team stats, and we'll go into the uh, individual stats. We'll talk about uh, who scored the most points for each side. I won't go into all their individual stats. But starting out with uh, Georgia, they'd go 19 of 61 from the field, 31% from the uh, shooting from the field. Not uh, not too great. Probably had a lot to do with why they lost by double digits. Uh, from three-point land, they would shoot 16%. They were just 3 of 18. From the free throw line, they would go, uh, which is their best stat of the day, 26 to 28. That's right at about 93% shooting from the free throw line. Total rebounds, they'd have 33 with 14 offensive rebounds and 19 defensive rebounds. They would have eight total assists, three steals, zero blocks, 10 total turnovers, and 17 personal fouls. For the Razorbacks on the team stats, uh, 34 of 61 from the field. That's 55% shooting. That's... That's pretty good. And obviously, a lot of those, some of those points were made uh, from you know Dusty Hannah's and uh, Watkins and, and Barford just driving the lane, trying to get inside the paint and make something happen. But uh, they would shoot so fifty five percent from the field, four of nineteen from from beyond the arc, twenty one percent three point range shooting. Not very good either. Both teams kind of struggled there. Free throw shots, they'd go thirteen of sixteen, eighty one percent at the free throw line. 38 total rebounds with 9 offensive rebounds and 29 defensive rebounds. They'd have 15 total assists, 6 steals, 7 blocks, 10 total turnovers just like Georgia, and 22 total personal fouls. The leading scorer for for the Georgia Bulldogs would be J.J. Frazier. 33 minutes, 5 of 15 from the field, 1 of 4 from 3-point range. He'd go 13 of 13 at the line. He'd wind up... With 24 points. For the Razorbacks, three different guys tied with 15 points. Uh, Kingsley, who had nine rebounds as well, along with two blocks, uh, but he'd have 15. Dusty Hannes with 15, and uh, Barford with 15 points as well. Uh, so, not a not a bad day. Not a bad way to end you know, your season, and, and a good way to go out for the seniors, all three of them with double digits. Watkins would even have 12 points. Uh, Watkins looked pretty good trying to drive the lane. I'm, I, you know, watching him do that. Both, I think he had two drives in the second half. I'd like to see a little bit of more, a little bit more of that. I'd like to see all these guys who can attack the rim do it. You know, that that uh, only benefits you if uh, if if you can if you have more than just a couple of guys that can drive the lane. But again, good win for the Hogs. They'd finish 85-67. I don't know if I said the score yet or not, but there it is, 85 to 67. They'd finish 23 and eight. Total record and 12 and 6 in, in conference play. Georgia will end the year with uh, 18 and 13 and a 9 and 9 conference uh, record. Georgia's going to have to do some damage in the tournament or in the SEC tournament to make the the dance to get to the to the big dance. I don't know that I see that happening with the injuries. If they can if they can stay out of foul trouble and do what they do, they they could they could surprise people in the SEC tournament. For Arkansas. You know, I said if they lost this one and they were a one and done, I still thought they'd have a shot at going to the NCAA tournament, a pretty decent shot. Now I think they're in. I, I mean, I thought they were in really, uh, even even with the Florida loss, and had they lost this game and been a one and done, I still think they would have made it. It's comforting. You, you don't have to re, re, uh, rely on the SEC tournament like Georgia and a couple other teams. But reflecting on this year really quick, and I'm going to get into the to uh, the the bracket here in just a second where it sits. Coming into today, uh, what a crazy roller coaster ride of a season! It just it was just this all year long, kind of similar to uh, to the Arkansas football team. If you're a one and done in the tournament, ah, you know, I, just as long as they don't get blown out, I, I'm you know I think you'd have to be okay with that, and, and you know it just gives you more time to prepare for the tournament. But I, you know, I was wrong going into the South Carolina game. I said there's just no way, and you got to remember going into the South Carolina game, they just dropped. 
to uh, Mizzou on the road and Vanderbilt. You know, two teams you should beat. Arkansas realistically is a top three, top four caliber team in the SEC. You don't lose to those teams and and losing to them back to back along with some already kind of embarrassing losses when you talk about Mississippi State and the way they got blown out in the second half against Kentucky and uh, the way they looked against Oklahoma State on the road, despite that being a perfect storm for Arkansas going into Stillwater. you know, So that's why I, I didn't believe at the time they were a tournament team, but obviously the, this is a different team. The team that left to go to South Carolina to play that game on the road was a different team when they came back, and they have played outstanding basketball Outside of Florida, but then you have to kind of give Florida some credit, too, because they're a really good basketball team. I see them and Kentucky going pretty far in this tournament. That's going to be the, the question. And this is still one that I've asked even since uh, you know they, they beat South Carolina and ever since we kind of had the idea that, okay, they are going to the tournament. The question still remains, should fans be satisfied with just making the tournament? I don't know after six seasons that that fans should accept that. A one and done, but I'm not saying either that it's, you know, that the year should be looked down upon or anything like that. You got, I think, realistically, you'd have to look back at the year. You saw how well the Razorbacks fought. You saw how well they picked themselves up, even after losing to Mizzou and Vanderbilt. Turn around and and win against LSU on the road, South Carolina on the road, came back and beat Ole Miss and A and M and so on and so forth. So you got to tip your cap to that, and I think it's. I'm not. I can't speak for the fans. For me myself, I'm not too excited about a one and done possibility. Not saying that that happens, but I'm asking you, the fans, though, and I want you to comment down below. Would you be satisfied? And should Razorback fans be satisfied with with just making the tournament being a one and done? That's at the end of the day my question. So uh, let me know again. Comment down below. That's it for the video. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna try and get you guys more content this week. Getting ready for the SEC tournament. Getting ready for the NCAA tournament. Uh, really quick on the on bra- on the Joe Lunardi's bracketology. He's got Arkansas as a 10 seed playing Dayton, and who's a seven seed. Dayton's a pretty good basketball team. Obviously, this will be taking place in Tulsa. So that's where they're at right now. So that's just something. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you guys the link down below. So that's it. For this uh, for for this game, congrats to the Razorbacks. Congrats to the seniors on a good year. What a what a way to end the year! Thank you guys so much for sticking with the channel all year long, and and you guys who endured the football season and the basketball season with me here on the on the Pictro Network. Special shout out to you! And again, thank you guys. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you have watched, and I really want you to comment because I'm really I want you to answer that question. And if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. Until the next video, peace. All right. <laughs>